Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Leon for Buck and Slug Reloaders. I'm out here on this uh, this this cold Super Bowl Sunday. A little overcast out here in Texas, but we're gonna get right to it. So, there's a new company on the block uh, making buckshot choke tubes. The name of this company is called Rectifier. Let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, these fellas are out of South Carolina. These are American-made chokes. So when I found out that these guys making a buck, buckshot choke tube, I'm like, well, let me reach out to the owner and see if he can't send me a couple to uh, to try out for, for you guys. So these look uh, look kind of similar to Kicks chokes. They got one right here. Uh, this construction is, uh, it's got a 0 0.045 constriction, extra, extra full. Recommended shot size for this one is double off buck, two and three quarters, and three inch. And number one buck shot, three and a half inch. Similar to what kicks do. Let's see if you guys can see that. Then the other one, uh, it's got a constriction of 40 thousandths. Uh, double off buck, any length. Oh, I'm sorry, triple off buck. So we're going to try this with three and a half inch. Uh, buckshot we're going to try this one here with two and three quarters and three inch buckshot uh, there's a couple of buckshot loads that i reloaded using the cushion tps wads from ballistic products and the white lightning wads too from ballistic prior products never shot these loads before so uh, we're going to shoot those and also we're going to shoot a couple factory loads too and we're just going to compare these to kick chokes and let's see how they uh let's see how they measure up so you guys stand by okay first shot we're going to do uh i got the triple all buck rectifier choke tube in never shot these reloads before so testing them out right now uh, this particular load is 10 pellets of triple off buck with a 12x12 uh, or I'm sorry x12x gas seal with a half inch fiber wad and 36 grains of steel I actually brought out my pressure trace to show uh, let me show that to you guys in a second and I'm gonna run pressure on these loads so you guys get to see how they they pattern and also what they're reading as far as uh, the pressure so you guys stand by All right, not sure if you guys can see that, but that shot came in at 11,088 uh, or 11,888 psi. So we're good on pressure, and let's take a little walk down. Let's see what uh, let's see what kind of groove we get. What I'm seeing right now. Uh, it's a pretty open pattern. Like I said, I've never shot these loads before, so uh, growing pains for all of us. All right. So this is what we got right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten on target. Uh, yeah, so pretty awful, but we're gonna go back up and see how uh, the buck kicker chuck, choke does. So you guys just hang tight for a second. All right, fire the next shot. Do the kicks. Uh, triple up buck choke two. All right, looks like the kicks did a little bit better. Uh, let's, count, let's count and see how many shots we have on target. We got one out here, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. We got nine shots on target. Um, this is uh this is first time I shot this low, so not too bad. Uh, can definitely be better. I will say that kicks actually did a little bit better on this on this particular load than uh, the breath of fire choke. So let's go back up and shoot some more. All right, next shot, three and a half inch Pioki Hall, uh, 14 pellets of uh, double off buck under 36 grains of, uh, I'm sorry, 30, 35 grains of steel with the TPS cushion rod, a little fire, a, <clears throat> a little buffer, and a roll cramp. So we want to see how these run. Stand by. Oh yeah, the first uh, first choke tube is uh, the Bucks Buck kicking choke tube. All right, here we go. Fire in the hole. Let's go down and take a look at it. That shot came in at, uh, at 12,925 PSI, which is within the same spec for a three and a half inch uh, 12 gauge. So we're gonna go take a look. All right, here we go. This is a little better. Uh, this is the Kicks. Uh, Kicks, I believe it was the Triple Off Buck Choke Tube. Although we were shooting 14 pellets of buckshot, uh, double off buck, we're gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Got 14, uh, 14 pellets on target. So we'll go up and see how the rectifier choke tube does. All right, so I just recovered that uh, that TPS wad, cushion wad. Wad looks uh, to be in pretty good shape. Not, you know, not bad. There's not a lot of data out on these yet, but uh, that's what I'm here for. Get these guys at Ballistic Product Products uh, a helping hand, if you will, to come up with some load ideas. So now we're gonna switch chokes to the uh, rectifier choke. We're gonna run the same load, 14 pellets, a double R buck and a three and a half inch mag and we'll see how they do. All right, folks, we got that rectifier choke in. Uh, let's send it down range. Fire in the hole. All right, that shot came in at just under 14,000 PSI. So let's go down range, take a look at it. All right, y'all take a look at this, right? This is a pretty daggone good, good group right here. Let's count up the shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, way down there. So uh, with that particular load, and here's the recover wad, that cushion TPS wad, I will say, that this round goes to the rectifier chokes. It's, uh, it's a little bit more tighter, a little more concentrated. So uh, yeah, man, let's go back up and let's send a few more down. All right, so I switched chokes. I got the rectifier uh, cyclone, uh, cyclone choke tube. This is for double off buck, two and three quarters up to three inches or number one buck shot up to three and a half inches. Once again, I'm shooting a load I have not fired before, so we're gonna run pressure on them too as well. Uh, this right here is 33 grains of steel with uh, a 20 gauge uh, cork wad in the bottom of the white lightning wad. And these is 
15 pellets of number one. So let's do it. Fire the hole. That shot came in at 11,700 feet per second. It's a little hot. So let's go down range, take a look at them. All right, here's what we got. Uh, pattern's a little opened up on this one. Here's that white lightning wad, buffer inside. That wad looks good. Like I said, this is the first time I shot these loads. So this will provide a good baseline for me. So. Uh, let's count them up. We should have 15 pellets at number one. And by the way, these are BPI number one uh, nickel plated. So let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Looks like we got 13 on target. And uh, all right, let's go back up and see how uh, the butt kicker does. All right, got the butt kicker choke in. Uh, I failed to mention that I'm shooting these out of, out of uh, the three inch Fiocchi Magnum, uh, the Magnum hull with the Magnum primer. So, let's see how these do. Okay, that shot came in at a little over 12,000 uh, PSI. So let's go down range, take a look at them. All right, this is what the butt kicker tube did. Uh, groups, this group's a lot tighter than the rectifier. Interesting to note, it seems like the uh, the the butt kicker kind of chewed up chewed up the base of this uh, white lightning wad a bit. And guys, uh, let me make a correction. There's not a 20 gauge uh, cork wad. It's a half inch 20 gauge fiber wad uh, put in the base of the white lightning to give the buckshot a little cushion. So let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Looks like we got 14 on paper. So I say uh, this particular group right here, I believe, I think the butt kicker kind of just edged out the rectifier of part too. So. We got some more loads so, to shoot, guys. This is going to be the last of my reloads, little test here. Uh, these are in a two and three quarter clear Fiocchi hull, and it's 25 grains of Herco, 12 pellets of single watt buckshot with a little buffer, and the MG 42 watt. Right now, I got the kicks choke in first. We're going to run that one first and uh, we'll see how they do. All right, here's the buck kicker wad. Um, not too bad, a little too open for my taste. Let's count them up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Looks like we got 12 on target. So here's what the MG42 wall looks like. It's a little chewed up, but not too bad. All right, got the rectifier uh, choke tube in. I'm gonna fire this off, 12 pellets, uh, double off, I'm sorry, single off buck, MG42 wall uh, with buffer. So let's see how they do. 
think it's 12. I'm sorry. Yep. 12 pellets. and 10,400 PSI, let's go down range. Okay, here we are. Looks like uh, the buck kicker kind of edged out the rectifier on that one. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, I think I made a mistake on uh, on the last shot uh, with the rectifier. I, I thought there was 15 or 14 or I don't know, I forget. But anyway, these are 12 pellets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 that I can see on target. So uh, not too bad. Looks like a uh, uh, buck kicker won this one. So. Let's head back up. And All right, guys, more. that last shot, once again, I jacked up. That was not the buck kicker choke. That was the rectifier choke. So my mistake on that particular load, the rectifier did better than the buck kicker choke. My bad. All right, so we're going to get into some factory loads now. Uh, we have some Remington nine pellet, double off buck, just express. Just basic run of the mill buckshot. We're gonna see how they do. I got the rectifier choke in now. And uh, so you guys just stand by. All right. Fire in the hole, nine pellets, Remington Express buckshot, rectifier choke. All right. Looks like that rectifier choke kind of blew this pattern open a bit. Let's count them up. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pellets on target, missing a pellet. Uh, so we'll go back, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, only eight. Eight pellets on target. It's pretty wide, uh, it's pretty wide spread. Uh, we're gonna go back up, switch over to the buck kicker choke. And go All right, got the buck kicker extra four choke in. And uh, we're gonna run these bad boys real quick. Fire in the hole. Let's head down range. All right. Well, you guys can see right there, uh, Buck Kicker clearly won that challenge with the factory nine pellet remnant and buckshot. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pellets on target. So, wow, big, big difference. Clear winner right here for this particular uh, low is the uh, buck kicker choke. Um, I got one last factory load to shoot, so let's head back up and uh, send them right, down range. So the last two shots of uh, this range outing is going to be factory three and a half inch Magnum Remington Express, 18 pellets, double off buck. We're going to switch back to uh, the rectifier and buck kicker uh, buckshot chokes for this size. So uh, right now, we're gonna switch over to the rectifier first. So you guys stand by. All right, here we go. Three and a half inch Magnum, 18 pellet, Remington factory double off buck and the rectifier choke too.
All right, so down range. All right, here's a rectifier, the three and a half inch factory Ram, Remington uh, buckshot. Count them up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Looks like we only got 16 on target. Maybe 17 on target. It's pretty open spread, so we're gonna back up and see how the uh, buck choker or buck kicker does. Okay, last shot. I uh, got the buck kicker uh, full choke in uh, for the three and a half inch double off buck 18 pellet factory Remington buckshot. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, here's the uh, the buck kicker choke. You can see it's a lot more concentrated um, on this particular load here. Uh, I would say the winner of that particular round goes to buck kicker. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Got all 18 pellets right here. Uh, not too bad. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. As you can see from this video, uh, both chokes did well in specific areas. Now, I'll let you decide on which. Um, some areas, the rectifier choke outperformed the buck kicker choke in other areas the buck kicker choke outperform the rectifier choke so i will post a link to the website to both rectifier and um, the buck kicker chokes in the description so i'd like to give a special thanks and shout out to the guys at rectifier chokes for sending me their choke tubes to test as well as uh, ballistic products for supporting my facebook page and my youtube channel and um also to uh, the guys over there at Buck Kicker Chokes. They make some outstanding chokes. You guys check them out. Um, and I also want to send a special shout out to my homeboy Chad for letting me use this place. So until next time, you guys stay safe.